let's move on to explaining the role of the Japan Patent Office. We like to give you a tour of the office building. I'll be your tour guide. Surprisingly, some office areas have never been filmed before. Better, Better understanding, understanding of, of the, the Japan, Japan Patent, Patent Office. office. The Japan Patent Office controls the industrial property rights, as we just learned, but it also has other functions that help address the public needs. Examples of those are drafting of the industrial property rights policies, promotion of international harmonization and assistance to developing nations. The office is constantly reviewing the industrial property rights system and supports usage rights to mid to small size companies and universities. As you can see, the office is involved in many aspects for further advancements of Japan's industries and improvement in the lives of Japanese people. Today, we'll show you the area where you can't normally enter. We'll take you to patent, design, and trademark offices where substantive examinations are performed. We'll also take you to application service counter and formality examination room. Let's get going. This statue in the entrance area of the first floor is Korekiyo Takahashi, the first commissioner of the Japan Patent Office. Takahashi has been collecting information on the patent system since the beginning of Meiji era. The importance of patents was discovered as a result of studying the collected information and the Patent Monopoly Act, the predecessor to the modern patent law in Japan, was promulgated in 1885. These reliefs depict 10 Japanese outstanding inventors. Related information on these inventors representing Japan is displayed as well. Oh, this person here is Mr. Sakichi Toyoda. He's well known as the founder of the world famous Toyota Motor Company. He worked on improving looms and developed Toyota Wooden Hand Loom, which drastically improved the productivity and the quality of manufacturing. He obtained his first patent, the first patent in Japan. Mr. Kokichi Mikimoto is the founder of the jeweler K. Mikimoto and Company Limited. What did he invent? He obtained a patent on the method of implanting pearl substance in 1908. His invention was instrumental in the phenomenal development of the cultured pearl industry in Japan. Now let's get back to the tour of the Japan Patent Office. This is Application Support Division which receives applications. Currently, 97% of applications are filed by the internet. However, you can also submit application documents through this division. Well, it seems that this is the very first TV camera entering this office. It is a formality examination that is being conducted. Formality examination, as we just learned, checks and sees if the patents, trademark or other application documents fulfill the necessity procedural and formal requirements. Well, today, we're allowed to take a look at how substantive examinations conducted for patents, designs, and trademarks. Let's go then. This is where substantive examinations for patents are conducted. Strict examinations are performed each day. There are so many images and videos of various designs. We're now in the area where substantive examinations for designs take place. Here, a substantive examination for trademark is underway. This is the appeals court located on the 16th floor. This court deals with application cases in terms of reviewing their examination results. It looks like a court in a courthouse. The court gives a dignified impression. Patent rights are granted after getting through very strict examination process. 
Nevertheless, it is said that disputes arise over whether legal requirements for granting the rights are fulfilled. Under the supervision of appeals examiners in appeals court, both the demandant, the person who went to court for question to the right, and the defendant, the patentee, for a trial expected to assert themselves to clarify the situation, this can be applied to utility models, designs in trademark rights. The National Center for Industrial Property Information and Training, IMPIT, is on the second floor. This division provides consultation services while advising you on industrial property rights and any related information.